foul and rotten worm. Come and fight so that I may <laughs> wet my blade on your Hey, knock that off! And trails! Blind. Lower the gate. Quick. Eddie, come back. Just come a little bit closer. Uh, rush, but uh. Decapitation! There. It is dead. And you, I will now teach you if... Hang on. I shall now teach you a French kissing. like the car. Yeah. I can't wait to show it to Lars. We should keep moving. We'll be safe in Bladehenge. Here, take this map. Bladehenge is the center of the human resistance movement. Aha! Army headquarters, huh? Well, right now the army is just... Lars' sister. What? Come on! Lars is a great leader, truly inspirational. But we've had a few practical setbacks. An army needs food, shelter, transportation. So many details to manage. Sounds like what you need is a roadie. What's a roadie? Uh, it's a long story. How about when we get to town, we have a big powwow with your whole army. We'll have a campfire, and I'll tell you all about what I do and where I came from over a big flagon of mead. What's a flagon of mead? It's a drink. Aren't we in medieval times? I... I, uh... We only have beer. But you can have as many kegs as you want. To Bladehenge! Ophelia, what demon have you allowed to follow you home this time? Oh, hello. Don't mind Lita. She's Lars's little sister. A little high strung. Lars!
So let me get this straight. These performers, they don't even have to tune their own instruments? Nah, that's our job. The roadies. The rock star's job is just to deliver the audience to the promised land of rock. Fascinating. Um, can we get back to the part where you are summoned here from another world? Oh yeah, by this little guy here. You were brought here by Orma Godin? The eternal fire beast? The cremator of the sky. Destroyer of the ancient world. Yeah, I accidentally got a little blood in its mouth and it totally went nuts on me. There are those who speak of a day when Orma Godin the fire beast shall bring a warrior into this world. To destroy us. To deliver us. There is some dispute about the translation, but having met you, I can tell that you are here to help us. To lead us. To wage war against the demons, to liberate humanity! Hell yeah! I mean, hold on a second. I don't know anything about waging war, but uh, I'll tell you what I do know. I know from meeting you, Lars, that you are the true leader here, not me. What I know is how to put a crew together and how to keep it organized and how to take it on the road. That, my friend, is exactly what we need. But I'm sure you must be longing to return to your homeland. <sighs> Alright, so where's your army, Lars? We have none. General Lionwhite has taken away most of our young men to toil in his mines. And he's taken our women to serve as slaves in his decadent pleasure tower. Well, let's go get him back! No, you are not to go near Lionwhite again. You were almost impaled last time. Compromise. We'll get the dudes first, and then they can help us get the ladies. But time to break the chains! I'll show you the mines, but I think you'll find these chains very hard to break. Don't worry, we'll go free those women soon, I promise. <laughs>